What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Deontay, the bronze bomber Wilder. Deontay Wilder predicts knockout of Tyson Fury straight on the ground. By Jake Tiernan, a rejuvenated, retooled, Deontay Wilder says that he'll knock out Tyson Fury in a fourth fight if the two meet up. The former WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder says that he'll put the 34-year-old Fury on the ground and that he, he wouldn't have the preservatives in him this time. Wilder has changed his, his style since his last fight with Fury and is now a mobile fighter, which could make it difficult for Tyson to use his mauling and leaning style that has become a norm for him in his bouts. At this point, it's still premature to assume that Wilder and Fury will ever meet for a fourth fight, but it's possible. A victory for Wilder over Anthony Joshua in December, a win for Fury against Usyk, could lead to the two winners meeting for a fourth time. And he says, knockout, easy, straight on the ground. He wouldn't have all that added preservative, said Deontay Wilder. And he would know that I am the best. Let me counterpunch. Um, fourth fight, fourth fight, fourth fight. My counterpunch to that, people, is tunnel vision, tunnel vision, tunnel vision. You know, I understand that Wilder wants a victory over Tyson Fury, but what I couldn't understand is the fixation on Tyson for so long. You know, Tyson Fury was a fighter that just resurrected himself back in 18, um, and he made himself a force in the heavyweight division. He totally disrupted the potential undisputed fight only to become the WBC heavyweight champion himself a couple years after that. And for us to not even see an undisputed fight where the, the champions have changed altogether. But Wilder chased Fury for the longest, despite getting offered more money from Joshua, despite, you know, uh, the other opportunities that he had to go to the zone, he chose to fight Tyson Fury. And of course, after he got beat, he could not take that reality. So he made his own reality and he had people to help him. And it's hard to convince anyone that they're delusional when they have hundreds or perhaps thousands of people that saying that I think you were cheated. And him now talking about a fight, a fourth fight with Tyson Fury on top of still dropping allegations, I think is a huge mental hurdle. Why do I say that? Because Wilder, if he's still putting energy into thinking Tyson Fury cheated the way that they're claiming he cheated with the gloves and then all this and the ref and all that, you know, and it's supposed to went on high up on the totem pole on why, you know, he lost. Well, you know, he's overlooking the third fight for one, and that's not really going to help him fuel him at any means. I think that just makes him angry, and I think Deontay Wilder fights uh, worse angry. I don't think he focuses right. I think, you know, him trying to like convince people that he's uh, he's at peace, I don't believe that if you're still calling Tyson Fury a liar. I just don't believe it. I think he needs to really be focused on the on on the project at hand on getting Tyson Fury down and keeping him down. But most importantly, I think redirection is key. Deontay Wilder needs to focus on fighting someone else. He should have focused on getting Andy Ruiz out of there. Now Andy Ruiz 
may be that opponent for Tyson Fury. As we just heard on Tyson Fury that he's supposed to have a monstrous opponent. So that may be Andy Ruiz, right? So, you know, that could have been Wilder's job, not just focused and talking and fixating and dwelling on the past because Tyson Fury is supposed to be in the rearview mirror of Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder's second part of his career should be a, a good reign, you know, a calm one, not hey, let's talk about Tyson Fury again. I'm like, no, please don't talk about Tyson Fury, please. Because it is, we've heard it so many times. We've heard the allegations. We've heard the desire for him to win. It's almost like someone's obsessed, possessed, and all kind of other est, right? So him saying that I can put him down, you know, just to, just to entertain it briefly though, Wilder did appear like he was more mobile. I mean, he's going to be more mobile anyway because he's not 20 pounds heavier. If I dropped 20 pounds, I would be a lot lighter too, along with everyone else. Okay. So I don't really see, you know, I don't really understand Wilder though. I mean, he's just that dude. He wants that fight. And it's like, you've posted your whole career on one person. That is insane. OK, that's just insane. It's only one way to say it. It's insane. You got Usyk, you got Joshua that you can get paid more money. You got Ruiz. You, you know, you have Otto Vilein. You have Daniel Dubois. You could fight Joe Joyce. You know, you got your American guys over there. Jarrell Miller, big baby. Jared, big baby. You know, Frank Sanchez. You have so many other guys that you can fixate and focus on to the point where it's like, dude, what the hell are you really doing? So anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Deontay Wilder's promising a knockout of Tyson Fury for a fourth time. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.